Okay, YouTube, I am doing a special live for you today. Uh, I, so if you're there, let me know. This may this, maybe this will be my new jam. Um, I'm so um, I'm so indebted to all of you here on YouTube. You are you you are the reason that fasting took off to the world um, because of your comments and your love of one video on my fasting timeline that got so many people um, excited. So if you are there, can you let me know? Um, just go ahead and put in the comments if you're watching. I it, you know so that I see who's on. I see the numbers starting to go up. Debbie, I see you there. Yeah, awesome. Alicia, awesome. I look and sound. Hey, thank you, Debbie. Awesome. Okay, yay, you all are here. Okay, so um, I just want to start off. I'm so sorry I came late to you. Uh, we had made some behind the scenes challenges, changes to um, our YouTube channel. And so it. I, I just had some technical snafus. Sorry. But thank you for waiting. And I'm really excited to be here. And um, maybe there was a reason for this, because I do really, to those of you who follow me on YouTube, I, I really want to let you know that you hold such a deep place in my heart. You've, you've been so amazing at answering my questions when I ask you for call to actions, when I ask you to tell your stories. You've, even though most YouTube doesn't operate like a community, you have operated like a community on my page. Um, and I'll give you a little behind the scenes for YouTube. You know, I fell in love with fasting about seven years ago. And when I discovered the concepts of autophagy um, and all the different switches that had get turned on with fasting, I came here to YouTube to teach it. And you all took my teachings and shared them with your friends and you shared them out into the world. And literally my YouTube channel, because of you, went from, it was around this time, it was actually around Christmas time, went from 3,000 subscribers to 30,000 subscribers in like one month. And then I, I just asked you all, like, what is it that you want to learn? And you responded. And so I kept doing video after video based off of your requests. And then we it, it, the, the channel started to grow. And then it morphed into so many of you brought your doctors here. And you, and you were so frustrated because your doctors didn't understand the science of fasting. So you asked me to put more uh, science links in there. So I started doing that. I started doing science video after science video, and we started seeing doctors understanding this. So this YouTube channel has, it has so many legs to it because of you. And I, and I just, before I dive into your questions, before I make sure that, that, um, you guys get the information you need about fast, like a girl, I just, especially those of you who've been around a while, like just, I uh, just so appreciative. I'm so appreciative. There's, this was this was the beginning here. So, so thank you. Really appreciate you. Okay, with that, let's talk about fast like a girl. Okay, the first thing I want to tell you, because a lot of you asked, is the book will be coming to you by the end of the year. Um, if I have to make sure Santa puts it down your chimney, I will make sure Santa gets it down your chimney. I am like hell bent determined to get this book to you by the end of the year so that we can all start fasting together in the new year. So a lot of you or some of you have been getting notifications from Amazon that your um, that your book isn't coming till mid January, end of January. That's not the case. So I have looked into it with Hay House. I've looked into it um, with uh my agent, and then we've looked into it with Amazon. I mean, we've you have a lot of publishing experts that have been looking at this, and the the messaging that I've been getting back from everybody is it will come to you as close to the twenty seventh as possible. So um, that's great. So just rest assured. The other thing that I really want to point out is that um, it, it's really important to me that this book gets used. If you're like me, I'm a little bit of a book book fan and I and I I buy books and I read parts of them and I grab what I can. Every room in my house has stacks of books in it. I just love I love the actual physical book. Um, so let me give you a little bit of an idea of what we're going to do together so that you can put this book into action. 
And then I'm going to answer your questions because a lot of you asked me some really profound questions and I want to make sure that, that I get those to you. Um, and I see you the chat here. So if you have some good questions, put it in the chat and I'll save some time to ask those of you that are live here to ask some questions. Um, so uh, the first week of January, we are going to do a three-day water fast together. And many of you, you got, you all know here on YouTube that I want to get a million people fasting. And what I found is what we've probably had a million people fast. I think we've had like 29 million views of all the, the um, videos on my channel. So we probably have a million people that fasted by now. So can we get a million people that first week, that three day to do some part of a three day water fast? And um, so thank you. I love, I got to put my glasses on so I can see you. Um, I love it that so many, Delmar, Yvette, I love it. Yes, Hen, thank you. Those, those of you, let me know if you're joining me in the three-day water fast and grab a couple of friends, please, because we it takes a lot to get to a million. So we're gonna, Hay House is supporting it. Hay House has millions of people in their community. Uh, this morning I said to the Hay, one of the Hay House people, uh, uh, staff, I'm like, can we get the whole Hay House like uh, team to be doing this? Um, we've got, um, we've got, I, I had a really cool, uh, conversation with Dr. Nasha Winters earlier this week on Instagram, and she's bringing her doctors to it. This morning I was on the ultimate health podcast. I asked Jesse if he would bring his community to it. So people are bringing their communities together for us all to do this together. And what I'm going to be doing is leading you through it. So it's not like fast training week where I give you the information and we answer your questions. I'm literally doing four webinars in four days and you can pop on the webinar. So I will do a prep webinar and then I will do a webinar on day one and I will do a webinar on day two. And then on day three, uh, that when we break our fast, I've pulled together Megan Ramos, Annette Boz, Dr. Boz, you all should know her here on YouTube, um, and Dr. Carrie Jones, my favorite hormone expert, to come together to talk about the power of fasting and hormones. So I am personally guiding you through this in this group setting. Please join us. If there's ever been a three-day water fast for you to do, I want you to join us in this. I will give modifications. I will talk about things like, do you have to get off coffee? Do you not? We'll, we'll answer all of that. Your only ticket, it is absolutely free. Your only ticket in is the book. So with a purchase of the book, you will are able to join these webinars that I am personally lead, leading. So um, please gather as many people that want to do this. And it's not just for women. It's in celebration of women. And it's in celebration of fasting. So um, I'm really excited um, to be doing that. The second thing is then we'll have a little bit of a week break. And those of you who are in my academy, I'm going to be leading people through the um, a 30-day uh, reset that I put in here. And um, it's a really cool reset that I made. We I haven't rolled it out to anybody. I have a beginner one and an advanced one. And those of you that are in my academy, um, you will be, um, you will be uh, doing that with me. If you want to join my academy, let me give you two free ways, free ways to join my academy. The first is until the 30th, if you've purchased your book, go to fastlikeagirl.com and send us the receipt of your book and you will be entered in to win a free year membership. Um, the second way is that if you purchase, and this is just for this weekend alone, if you purchase 10 books from Fast Like a Girl, I'm, so, I'm sorry, 10 books from Barnes and Noble, um, you, there's no entry. You will get a free year in my academy, 10 books. So the way my mission brain sees this is that you buy 10 books from Barnes and Noble, you gather nine of your friends, can, can hold one of those books for yourself if you haven't already bought one, and then let's all fast together. Let's do this together. I'm going to lead you through it in, in these two events in January. So if you want more information on the 10 book exchange for a year in the Academy, uh, you just need my companion or my gift, my holiday gift guide. Um, so I'm sure my team will put the link in here. Um, but the holiday gift guide has all the, um, information. So I'm going to let my team put it in the, in the, in the link here. And if you're watching this after this is live, 
please um, go and look in the notes so you can so you can get that. Um, can you tell we're trying to change the world? <laughs> like I'm a tenacious, I'm a tenacious woman. We're gonna get this, we're gonna end metabolic disease for women. We're gonna do it. And it's gonna be moments like you all did when you got excited about the fasting benefits timeline and shared it to the world. And we got, you know, hundreds of thousands of people here on YouTube. It's moments like that that really accelerated this message. And moments like this, and you all buying 10. And then giving those books out and um, getting a free year in my academy and then joining me next year on this journey is this is how we change lives. So I only have I only have one focus and it's to change your life and to change all those women that are suffering and they don't know the door out. The door out is this. And once we open that door and we create a community around these women, we can start to end chronic disease for women. So, OK. Now let's go into the nuts and bolts. So, and keep asking the questions. I see them coming in um, and I will I will make sure that I get to some of them when I get done here. Um, okay, first question you asked me was, or some people asked me was, what was my favorite chapter? And the second question, I'm gonna kind of bulk these together. The second question was, what was the hardest chapter to write? So here's what I want you to know is that the, the book is broken into three sections. So when you get the book, go and look at the table of contents. So I broke it into three sections. So there's the science section, there's the art of fasting like a girl section, and then there's the application section, the last section here. So the book has been broken into three sections. The first section took me was 70% of my time writing this book was in that first section. And the reason for that is because I really wanted to take here on YouTube, what I have thousands of videos. Um, I wanted to synthesize all of my thousands of videos and put them in a very systematic way for you to read them. So those of you who are loving my videos, you're grabbing pieces of information and you would love to see them in a, in a very smooth order please get in the book. Know that that first section is for you. Um, it's the uh, chapter two is my favorite chapter and it was the hardest one to write. Um, and the reason that it is my favorite chapter is because, hold on, is that I really wanted to synthesize the science and synthesizing science is not easy. So um, I did, I not only break down each fast and I gave them all different fun names. We've been talking about the names here, like gut reset and dope and dopamine reset. But what I did is I want you to think of fasting like a Swiss army knife that you open up. Sometimes you open up the big knife. Sometimes you open up the screwdriver. Sometimes you uh, pull out the tweezers. So I wanted you to be able to go to this chapter because I really wanted this book to be a resource for you. Um, and I wanted you to be able to go and go, okay, what was autophagy fasting again? How many hours do I need to fast? What's the science behind it? And why would I want to do it? And so I put bullets in here so you could understand why you would want to do it. So chapter two is going to be one of those chapters that you're going to keep coming back to over and over and over again. Feel free to write up in the book. Um, I actually think one of the questions I got was, will there be an audio book? Um, and uh, the answer is yes. And I read it. I, I did the reading of it. So it's my voice, um, and which was a really hard thing to do. Um, but I knew that that was the best thing to do for to get the information out. Um, and the audiobooks are great. And sometimes there's books that you do audio and you listen so you can keep hearing the principles and then you do um, you do the hard book so you can go back and reference it. I have several books that I've done that with over and over and over again. So chapter two is my favorite. Um, it was the hardest to write. And then I've got to throw in chapter three. So chapter three was also a really cool chapter and one that I had to fight for because um, we had to vet out the concepts quite a bit, my editor and I. And by the way, there were like four editors on this book, which um, if you know anything about writing a book, um, it, it it's the editors that make this look, make it read so smooth. 
So I'm so grateful to all the editors that helped me on this book. But chapter three is called The Metabolic, uh, Metabolic Switching, um, The Missing Key to Weight Loss. And it's in this chapter um, that I talk about, it's the in and out of sugar burner, fat burner. We have a, we have a joke in my Reset Academy. We do, this is our dance. This is the, the uh, fast like a girl dance. It's like, sometimes I'm a sugar burner, sometimes I'm a fat burner. If we have any choreographers, if we have anybody who makes music out there, let's make a song to this. It's it it's literally that's the key to weight loss is the in and out of sugar burner and fat burner. So that would be one of my other my other favorite um, chapters. Okay, another question that some of you asked me was, um, why did I name it Fast Like a Girl? Uh, so if you have if you have that question, put it in the, put it in the the chat there. I'm going to tell you what I told Facebook and Instagram. Um, this book actually, I didn't tell them this, but um, I actually wrote this book two years ago and uh, it was called The Fasting Fix for Women. And um, when Hay House uh, wanted to pick it up and uh, we decided to make some changes to that book. And so um, in that moment, I had had a, a, like a feeling under my brain or inside my brain that um, I wanted to call it fast like a girl, and um, it just it just it came to me one day on a run, and yet I want to just be sensitive to the fact that um, girl isn't always well received. Like some women feel like, well, I should I'm a woman now, I'm not a girl, and so I really thought about this a lot, and I went to my cousin in law who is a feminist philosopher. She actually has a PhD in feminist. Uh, feminism, philosophy and feminism, something along that lines. And I said, what do you think of the word girl um, used in this context? And she said that there's a very famous um, essay called about why throwing like a girl is an appropriate statement. And the idea is that in this essay, she highlights the fact that as women, wherever we are on, on our woman journey, as women, we have to do things different. So in this essay, she actually breaks down the mechanics of throwing and how the length of our arms and the strength of our muscles actually make it so that we throw in a very specific way. But we have made throwing like a girl seem like it's a bad thing. And so the essay is about let's bring back this idea that doing things as a girl is actually what we're supposed to be doing. Um, one of the beautiful experiences in this book is my work with Leanne Rimes. Um, she wrote the foreword, and it's a beautiful foreword, by the way. We did we we just asked her to put her heart and soul into it. She put it there, and it's it's so Leanne. It's so beautiful. And at the end of of the foreword, you will see she talks about. Um, all the times that she, as a young girl, was um, was ridiculed or or had been had messaging in her head that doing things as a girl was bad. And um, one of the things that she and I really both aligned on was it's time to take this back and say doing things as a girl is actually appropriate. And it is the way that our feminine body um, is asking us to do it is that we have to think about our hormones. We have to think about our mechanics. I mean, as females, we, we were born to have a baby, whether we don't have, whether you have a baby or not, we have all the mechanics and the neurochemicals to have a baby, which makes us have a, a whole different approach to our lifestyle that needs to be taken into consideration. But we've been given one size fits all. We have not been given the opportunity to really embrace what it's like to fast like a girl, what it's like to eat like a girl, what it's like to um, exercise like a girl, what, you know, socialize like a girl. Like once you understand in the book, I have this really cool concept called the fasting cycle. We have not, we have not put this out into the world yet. Um, there's a really cool visual tool that you will see that is the fasting cycle. And it tells all the different fasts and the different foods that you will want to do according to your menstrual cycle, if you have a menstrual cycle, um, so that a woman can look and go, oh, it's day nine of my cycle. Here's the food I should eat. Here's the fast I should have. That is what we put in the fasting cycle. 
And that's what it looks like to, to do something like a girl. But once you understand how to fast like a girl and eat like a girl, I'm hoping you're going to understand how to say yes to social engagements and how to say no to certain things. I'm understand. I'm hoping you're going to gather how to do everything in this female in this female body. I had a um, I had a, a man come up to me, a doc uh, who I'm friends with. Last weekend at a, at a conference I was speaking at, he came up to me and, he, and I had spoken at his clinic in Oregon. Um, it's called Evergreen Factor. For those of you that live near uh, in Lake Oswego, Oregon, go visit their clinic. It's amazing. And he, and I did a, a, a talk there on um, on hormones. And there were three men in the group. And I told the men, don't leave. What I'm going to teach you on hormones is going to help you understand the women in your life. And so he came back to me this weekend and said, after that talk, I feel like I have a better relationship with my husband. I mean, with my wife, I have a better relationship with my daughter because now that I understand her hormones and I understand when these hormones are coming in and out. So when I look at fat, the, what, what we can accomplish with Fast Like a Girl, I feel like we've got to say, okay, we can, once we understand how to live a life of through the lens of our hormones, we need to treat everybody around us how to know where these hormonal ebbs and flows are. And, you know, it's really interesting that we've villainized the week before our cycle for so long. We bitch about that we're tired. We don't feel like going anywhere. We don't feel like working out. We can't sleep. We want to eat chocolate and a bunch of carbs. Well, that's what progesterone wants. But you want to eat smart carbs. You want to not raise cortisol and you're craving chocolate because you need the magnesium to make progesterone. So these are the kind of the conversations I'm hoping we're going to start to have as this book gets out into the world. So um, so know that there it's more than just it's more than just a pretty cover. Um, there is so much I hope that we can do as a community with this. Um, OK, other questions that you guys asked me was what were what are my favorite recipes in here? Uh, we have over 50 recipes, um, some keto, some hormone feasting, some breaking your fast. So um, that's there for you. Um, my favorites were two, uh, the Meyer lemon, uh, Meyer lemon ginger chicken, probably because I have a Meyer lemon tree uh, that I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with Meyer lemon and probably because I'm obsessed with ginger. Um, so it's a great recipe. And then I'm always working on collagen as a 53 year old woman. And I love bone broth. So I love this braised beef, beef collagen boost um, is a really good recipe but there's not a bad one in the book. So there's that. So, okay, I'm going to open it up for questions. And um, so go ahead and put it in there. Um, okay, diabetic info. I'm taking it from the bottom. Um, yes, in the back of the book, I put many of the questions that you all have asked me. Um, and diabetes has been one of them. So I actually not only answer like, what do you do if you're a diabetic, but I have like a protocols in there, like for like, thyroid and, um, and, uh, autoimmune conditions. I even have a really cool protocol in there for infertility that has been working incredible. Um, and stay tuned for some great stories on that. So remember that for over a decade, I've been using fasting with my patients one-on-one -on -one as a healing tool. So I've seen not only what's working for you all, but I've seen what's working one-on-one. -on -one. So I, all those protocols are in the book. So they're in the appendixes. So make sure you go into the appendices and into the appendix because um, that is really, really important. Um, I'm pretty sure I put blood pressure in there. Um, I'll have to go back and look. Um, um, breast, do I talk about breastfeeding women shouldn't fast? I do talk about who shouldn't fast and um, breastfeeding women need to do it differently for sure. It's not a hard no, but there are modifications. And I did put, I did put that in there. Um, do you talk about alternatives to weight loss and hormone repair for women? Yeah. For women or her breastfeeding. Yeah. Yep. Put that in there. Um, a lot of protein cycling in there. So let me know if you have any more questions. I'm I'm literally looking at the APO E4. How do we know we've got it? You, you know what? Let's talk about genes for a second. And again, I'm I'm gonna keep coming back to you all here on YouTube because you are where where 
my um, my passion for fasting first went, and a large part of what birthed the fasting movement for me was through you all. So um, APO four APO E four. Um, okay, so I'm I am not. I am not into absolutes and I worry when we are given a, a genetic diagnosis, like you have this gene, you should not do that, that it blinds us. And let me give an example here on YouTube. I went and did a three day water fast with, um, and guided uh, Lauren and Katie from higher dose through a three day water fast. And they, they documented the whole thing. You can find it here on YouTube. And Lauren had been told that she had the APOE4 gene and she should never fast. So she had that in her head as we went into the fast. She freaking rocked that fast. She did so well. She shocked herself. She was so like, it was easy for her. Um, she was great. Even the weeks bringing food back in. Um, it was like one of those moments where she was like, okay, maybe I look at my genes as a guiding post, not an absolute. So with genetics, I just want to point out that we use it as a guide, not as an absolute. In fact, any anytime we go looking for an absolute um, in healthcare, we, we lose. Um, this is the problem with fasting, with uh, fasting, with weight loss. How many, how many years we've been looking for an absolute with weight loss? Everybody has their own rhythm with so, um, so yeah, so that's my, that's my, my opinion. Three, three, one fasting protocol. Oh yeah. We got protocol after protocol after protocol is in there. All my variations of protocols are in there. Um, so yes, definitely. Um, should you cut back blood pressure medicine medications? I do put a lot in there about medications. Um, and, um, you know, the general consensus that we see, and, I, and I'm just going to say that we see, but you need to involve your doctor in this, is that as fasting starts to build health in your body, you typically need less medication. Um, but that doesn't mean you just go off your blood, blood pressure medication or you go off your thyroid medication. That means that we need to make sure that um, your doctor is involved in this and is giving you a strategy to be able to get off of those. And if you're a doctor listening or a healthcare practitioner, I really, I wrote this book with you in mind. I'm hoping I know what it's like to be, have a busy practice and not have time to research all this. So I wanted to make this a valuable tool for you that you could send your patients to it where there's science, where there's an application, um, where they can see these protocols and they can apply it. So I'm hoping that this will fill the doctor's offices and that more doctors will recommend it. And then we can get these doctors involved and um, start to get you off medications as they understand it more and more. Um, iron deficiency, I don't, I'm not sure I put it in the book, but um, there are a lot of interesting things about iron deficiency. Um, so we'll, maybe we'll talk about that more in the coming webinars. Um, okay. Uh, so, okay. Trying to see if there's anything else. Um, fasting and migraines. Uh, we've seen great results with fasting and migraines. PCOS, PCOS, my Pat, my PCOS gals. Whoo. When I read the book, I was like, when I read the audio book, I was like, wow, I put a lot on PCOS in here. It is sprinkled throughout the whole book. So there'll be sections of it. You'll see me bring it up. I think um, one of the things that got me is that PCOS is the, the number one hormonal imbalance for women. So I really wanted to make sure that I included it. Um, so beautiful. Okay. Um, and I, you know what? I see uh, uh, Maria and Liz, I see your comments on iron deficiency. So um, how about I do this? Why don't I do a YouTube video on it? Uh, I'll answer your question and the nitric oxide question on YouTube um, so that you, you get that. Um, and, um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to end it with that. Remember, if you want to come into my account Academy, buy 10 books from Barnes and Noble, um, and you're in, you're in for a year if $450 value. And then what I'm going to ask is that you take those 10 books and you create a book club, you inspire 10 women in your life, um, that are going to really, um, uh, benefit from this book. So that's our gift for you. 
Um, and it's our way of really making sure that we keep the mission heart of this book and we get this to as many women as possible. So uh, in order to, to know how to to get these, get into the Academy and get the 10 books from Barnes and Noble, you need the holiday gift guide. Uh, if depending on when you're listening to this, just put holiday gift guide in the comments and my team will make sure to send you a link and all the information's there. That offer, by the way, is only for through this Thanksgiving weekend. So for those of you here in America, so it is from, um, I, I believe Friday through Sunday. Um, and, uh, you buy 10 from Barnes and Noble and I'll see you in my academy. Super cool place. We're actually just finished up a fat burner reset and we're going to do a lot of cool info this month on how to keep yourself focused and healthy through the holidays. So you can anchor to me through the holidays and, and we do workouts on Saturday mornings. It's a, it's the academy is really cool. So if you're looking for a community to do fasting with, if you're looking to customize it for yourself, it's a great place. And now you can get it for free with just 10 book order. So, okay, everybody, I just want to say for those of you in, in America, happy Thanksgiving. Um, to those of you who have been supporting me for so many years, I just, um, someday I'll find the words to thank you. I really will. Um, I just really, really appreciate you. Uh, and, and you've shown up for me. I will tell you that there are two, two messages I've left for you in the book. One is in the dedication. Go look at the dedication. I dedicated this book to you. And the other one is in the acknowledgements. Um, so when you get the book, go to the acknowledgements. Those of you who have been here on my channel for years, those of you who have shared your stories, um, I left a little message for you there. So with that, Everybody have a beautiful day of gratitude and I will be back over the next month sharing more of my passion for this book. So mwah, love you all. Have a great one.